Yeah, I'm uh, I'm 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 at I'm at the red light and a, a car pull up to the left of me and spring right into action, start start shooting the shooting the whip up. As soon as the light turned green, so so they they sprayed the whip up a good, a good amount of times and hit me once. Throw up throw up something from half court and hit me once in the temple. Went through the light, crashed into some train tracks on Imperial on what's that San Pedro and and, and after that, then it was a new chapter. We got Munchie B, Inglewood's finest, man. The Damu Stevie Wonder, man. That's what they're calling you. That part. Munch, thanks for pulling up, man. Oh, no, thanks for having me, man. Appreciate it. Yeah, and we've been tracking you online. We've seen you on Street TV, Alex Alonzo's channel. Mm -hmm. And uh, your story is remarkable, man. It's another crazy hood story. Uh, let's take it back. Let's dial back to, you know, you're age 14. You're living in Inglewood. Your older brother is Big Munchie from Crenshaw Mafia. Mm-hmm. And you decide to hop off the porch over there in Inglewood with the with the Inglewood family uh, gangster bloods. All right. How was that experience, man? Did you know what you were signing up for? Yeah, I'm 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 a, I'm a, I'm a what you call like a I'm a willing participant, and nobody like uh, coach me or try to uh, encourage me to do do what I'm doing. I I already know what time it was, you know what I'm saying, basically. But you know, it, it it gets serious at a at a point in time, more serious than what you think. It ain't just all fun and games. Going to hood days and hollering at females like the site that, you know, that that appeal you to it, that make you wanna like, you know what I'm saying? Be a part of part of being a blood and shit like that. So yeah, but it eventually it get it get real, cause you know, that's when the participation comes. You gotta you gotta do your part, you know what I'm saying? Take us back to the the first time you got shot, man. Oh shit, the first time I got shot, I was a uh, I was walking from school. I was going to a, 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 a continuation in the hood called Hillcrest, you know what I mean? So I had this little older female that I wish, she's probably like 20, 21, she's about to pick me up from school. I get out of school, I call her. She like, oh, okay, I'm coming, I'm coming. So I'm like, okay, I'm about to walk down to Carl Jr. With, you know what I'm saying? With, you know, the little, the crowd, the motion is going from the school, you know, we deep, we walking, meet me there. So we bell up, we in the parking lot at Carl Jr. chilling and shit, gang of us, you know what I mean? A car pull up. They, they hesitate to get out the car. They, they take a little minute, but we, we ain't depending on their mind. But when they get out, they got a gang of green on. You know what I mean? Dude got like four tattoos. I mean, four like four tier of the other dude. So they walk they walk past us and walk into uh, Carl Jr. So I'm like, all right. So the homies looking like, what's up with them? Like, you know what I mean? We all young. We go to the continuation. We all, basically, we all, we all from where we from. NHP, Inglewood family, whatever, whatever. We out there hanging. So. Where we from, you wear green, you from Hustlers. That was, that was the ops, you know what I mean? So I go in there, I sit down. You know I'm saying? I'm looking at them, the homies come in there, they bang on them and stuff, they push back out. I look like, yeah, I in trouble now. So we go outside, they come back out, got they food. We get the whooping their ass, hitting them with, I don't know where the homie got a Dodger back, beating them up. They run back in there, we take their food, whoop their ass. So the homies say, hey man, y'all walk on this side of the street. Don't walk against traffic, bro. I mean, don't walk with traffic, the traffic, the cars, you know what I'm saying? Don't walk in the same direction as traffic, basically walk against traffic so you can see what's going on. Or I'm about here, he hop in the car with a little broad, he get on. I call a female like, man, where you at? Oh, I'm coming down Manchester, I'm coming. I'm like, all right, well, meet me at the Ingle Swami, I'm gonna be right there waiting on you. So I'm keep walking with the rest of the group. So walking, and I just hear a car pull up, like the engine revving, some shots, like I tried to run and I chipped over like the back of the bus stop or something and fell. So I'm like, damn, the car pull off, so I'm on the ground. Then the homie fell next to me, and then they help him up, and he kind of hop away. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I feel my arm is thawed. I'm like, oh, shit. So uh, the homegirl, she on me, oh, no. And my mom like, man, he doing a whole lot for me to just be shot in the arm. Then uh, she like, don't, don't die, all this little, little, I'm like. But then I start feeling blood trickle down my head. Now I get nervous, like, oh, shit, you know what I mean? So basically I got like some up took off the top, like, you know what I mean? So they had to like staple, staple the meat back down, like, you know what I'm saying? And it was like blood coming. So it looked way worse than what it was. It was like a graze, but it kind of like, it got a little invasive, you know what I'm saying? So 
the paramedics come down the street, the homie like kind of like flagged them down, they hop out, they look at me, and they about to get back in, the homie's banging, what, what the fuck y'all, you know what I'm saying, he hit. It's one coming behind this, cause I guess, you know what I'm saying, then they pull up, I go from near UCLA, uh, in Westwood, and uh, you know, they they stapled the, my little, my little, what, convertible I had up there, I had a little ball spot for a minute, you know what I mean? The one man asked me what color cast I want, I'm like, I, I want, I didn't even know you could pick a color. I'm like, I want red. So I come out, my mom was pissed off. It was on there already. She like, change that, you know what I mean? It's on there now. You know, I was on Crenshaw Manchester the very next day. After that, did you slow your roll or, or did you just turn it up even more? I, re I returned back to school. You know what I mean? The, the principal was happy. To, rest in peace, Mr. Brownlee. He was the principal at uh, Hillcrest. He was, he was happy, you know what I'm saying? You mentioned he made a big impact on you guys. He was just like a guy who really cared about you guys, the principal at Hillcrest. Yeah, you know, and usually after school, he'll walk and follow us to Carl Jr. making sure we ain't grouping up and all that little stuff, but that day he didn't, so I, I know he felt kind of guilty, you know what I'm saying? Like, if I was there, this wouldn't happen. Right. But I went back, but then after that, like, you know what I'm saying, I didn't, I, I, I really just stopped going to school after that. Like, cause if I, if I could get, get shot walking from school, man, that, you know what I mean? I, I stopped going. I, I went to this little thing and bought my diploma and just stopped going. I, I got a job. I had a, I had a baby on the way, so I just, I just got a job. It's just been a journey for you, man. And then you, you spent some time in Ironwood on a level three. You sat on your hands for a little bit. And now you find yourself in a situation where you're in the Imperial Courts area, right? No, nah, I was on Imperial. You were on Imperial? Imperial? All right. Yeah. So you're driving down Imperial. And you, you mentioned to me that you always use tint. You never did any dirt in your regular whip. That, yeah, I, I uh, tried to keep that car more personal, more, more, more low key, so that you know the opposition wouldn't know, know that whip. You know what I mean? And so some dudes pull up alongside you. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm, 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 I'm at, I'm at the red light, and a, a car pull up to the left of me and spring right into action, start, start shooting, the, shooting the whip up. As soon as the light turned green, so so they they sprayed the whip up a good a good amount of times and hit me once, threw up threw up something from half court and hit me once in the temple. And that half court shot changed the future trajectory of your life. Hell yeah, yeah. I, I went through the light, crashed into some train tracks on Imperial on what's that San Pedro, and and, and after that, then it was a new chapter new chapter and for our audience at home munchie b unfortunately was his optic nerve was severed by that gunshot and is and you've been blind fully blind since 2013 correct 2012 2012 yeah and adjusting to being blind munch has been a tremendous burden for you obviously but it's also given you a different insight, if you will, to a whole new life. Right? That's what I was thinking, like, all right, how, how am I about to move forward now? How am I about to carry on with life as, as, as normal as I could? That's that was that was my main thing right there to figure out. You know what I mean? And then it's like 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 uh being being like in the NFL and then you got a a a, a career ending injury, you know what I mean? Of course you want to keep playing, but you know what I'm saying? So now I can't do the look the, the all the all the little play ball shit I was doing, you know what I mean? You know, at that age, that's what I want to continue to do. I, so, but I got pushed more into like a big homie role, so I gotta, I gotta take on a different role. I got, you know what I'm saying? I got, I got little homies or whatever. So they, they come to me. I could, I could aid them the, in the best way I can. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna do it. You know what I mean? Like, I'm, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm gonna let them know what's going on. Maybe, maybe somebody just got put on last week. You know what I mean? And, they don't know this dude from the hood is janky as hell. You need to stay away from him or don't hop in the car with him and throw a gun on your lap or just stay away from this dude because a lot of people don't know what they be signing up for. You know what I mean? Now you're in that big homie role. And, you know, the question that comes to mind is, do you believe in, in destiny or was it just a pure coincidence you got your eyesight taken from you? I know that's, I know that's what you sign up for, man. If you subscribe to the streets, a lot of a lot of things could happen. You know what I mean? So that's why due to my situation, I ain't never complained about it. You know what I mean? I don't do no crying. Like in, it was early on, I had to figure out, all right, what's the next home? About to, you know what I'm saying? Conduct life as normal as possible, cause cause I ain't about to be no stay in the house type dude. 
You know what I mean? I, I, I'm still used to being outside, you know what I mean? You 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 outside, you game banging it, and then if you got like a name out there, you, you doing what you do, you can expect the worst, man. Try to get avoided, you know what I mean? You, you'll go to jail. You might have a homie tell on you, you know what I mean? Uh, you, 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 you might get shot, get paralyzed, you get hit like I got hit. You're like, or you might go to jail for some shit you didn't do. That means you can't tell who did it. It's just certain shit you gotta, you gotta, you gotta just roll with the punches, and, and that's that's basically what I'm doing. Like, you, you can't be complaining about, it. you know, what I'm saying some shit you made a conscious decision to do. You know what I mean? You've taken full responsibility for what you signed up for, and and you know when we were driving together, I realized how much we take for granted our eyesight and just basic things. The fact that. I had to explain to you where we were and and how we what was going on. It made me think, man, you have such a great attitude about this much, and I know you want to help kids. Oh uh, yeah, for sure. It, it be it be uh it be cool to hear it from me rather than somebody that's preachy preachy. You know what I mean? Rather like 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 versus like a teacher, a pastor, or your mama even. You know what I mean? When you and you see see what I've been through, and I'm telling you like kick back. You know what I mean? Because you know I ain't a buster. I'm not scary, and you know, I didn't really participate. It, it hit different hearing it from me, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I would tell, I would tell uh, the youngsters, don't, don't, don't subscribe to this lifestyle, you know what I mean? Like you might wanna, uh, you don't even wanna have to be held to our, 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 our guidelines. You might got a friend that told her something, you might still wanna be friends with that person. Where we come from, you gotta sever ties, you know what I mean? You don't wanna be held to these, like, you know what I'm saying, type of standards that, 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 that we gotta abide by, you know what I mean? So. I'll tell a person before they answer that, like, think about it, you know what I mean? And, and why and why you, why you want to be from over here, you know what I'm saying? Like, like when I start like uh, entering a little little gang, I ain't gonna say uh, intervention, but pre prevention, cause I ain't, I ain't really trying to stop no big wars or, or nobody my age or whatever. If you got a pocket full of felonies, tattoos on your face and you did what you did already, it ain't too much I could like really do for you. You know what I mean? But like if you a young dude before you get put on or you just started and you hey made a reputation, people ain't gonna forgive, like you could kinda like be talked to like, man, you should kick back. You know what I mean? I'll tell a, a person that that before they hop in or that when they fresh, like, you know what I'm catch them like before it get too ugly, you know what I'm saying? Right. And you know, our audience is pretty smart. They could read between the lines. They they know that if you've been shot ten times and then there was a red dot on your chest. But you know the fact you're here is a miracle before us. Uh, the fact that you're making changes f through your life, and what you told me about gang banging is what what has been consistent from La Cosa Nostra to Crips, Bloods, the Southsiders. They all say the same thing: the treachery within these organizations is just unbelievably wicked. Where your own homeboys are plotting against you. We talked in the car a little bit about your homeboy baby Capone uh -huh. and and when he defaced Nipsey's mural and the disrespectful nature of that defacing and this is you know we asked little Sodi about that and this is what little Sodi had to say you see moves that are placed out there that you you scratch your head for example this youngster baby Capone goes over and defaces Nipsey's mural bro Oh yeah. I mean, speak to me about the level of disrespect involved. I in mean, that it ain't even just it wasn't even just Baby Capone. My homie did it first. See, you didn't know that. I, no one knew that. Yeah, I went and got that paid. Me, my big homie, Big Ty, but paid to get that fixed. It was a respect thing. Like I went and fixed it. So they like if it was to happen on my side, I would expect the same thing or it's a spit in the face. I'm a real gangster. I go by real politics and respect. So if I'm gonna give you that full respect, I want it back. You know what I'm saying? What'd you think of what little Sodi said regarding that? And do you find what your homeboy baby Capone did to Nipsey's mural disrespectful? Uh shout out Lil Sodi. I know Lil Sodi, his brother Baby Sodi. They, 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 he good, he good people. I, I, I got respect for Lil Sodi, but that's, that's, that's where Lil Sodi at in his life right now. You know what I mean? Lil Sodi at Baby Capone age, he wouldn't have been trying to uh, pay to, to fix the mural. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And you know, they, they, they should have highlighted that, that he paid to get it fixed. 
and then and then not give all the attention to 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 the the, the younger dude that defaced these so much. You know what I mean? Like they they highlight the the negative, but you know, baby Capone did he did what 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 dudes his, his age do. You know what I mean? He young. He he don't he don't got no friends from rolling sixties. He ain't he ain't been in them places to where he could uh, have no no uh no no kind of friendships with them dudes over there. Everybody I'm cool with from sixties. I, I became cool with as I became a mature adult or I've been in adult facilities and penitentiaries and things like that to where we got to kind of like coexist, you know what I'm saying? Like, even after the fade, we got to kumbaya because of the opposite races and stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? So, and then on top of that, game banging is a disrespectful sport. You know what I mean? They go, they go disrespect your dead homies. They go whack out your hood. They go deface mirrors. They go kick over candles. They might even shoot up a funeral. So like, it depends on where your, what, what, everybody got a different type of morals and what they, what they think is foul and what, what, what lines shouldn't be crossed. But I don't think that that was like really outlandish or, or you know what I'm saying? Foul ball. Outside looking in, it, it's massively disrespectful, but I, I see your perspective on it, Munch. I get it. You know, it just is what it is. This is not right. for everybody. And if you're thinking about doing it, think twice, you know? Think twice about gangbanging. Is that is that your takeaway, Munch? Think twice because it ain't only cons to to, to being from a gang. Cause some some people, like I seen Pete Thrizzle uh, interview and he he said he wanted that family element. You know what I mean? Yeah, Pete's a real one. You know, and it you know a lot of people don't understand his situation. You do obviously because you're from the same city. You know, section city. Yeah. And, uh, you know, he's been through a, a very similar life you have been through. And uh, we have a lot of respect for P. Thrizzle, man. And, you know, it, it bugs me when I see these comments online. You know, a lot of people, they, 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 they keyboard bang. And it's just unfortunate. They don't understand the whole dynamic of it, right? They don't, they don't, they don't, they don't, they don't even know that, man. Man, that, that's just how the internet set up. They don't, they don't, they don't know that. Dude, and a, a lot of people that text the way they text, they won't they won't talk that way in your face. You know what I mean? So I just, me personally, I ignore the comments and the internet trolls, and I'm pretty I'm pretty sure there's a way ain't letting it get to him. You know what I'm saying he 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 know he know where he know how he coming. You know what I mean? You know, and it seems like online now everyone's throwing rocks and then hiding their hands, you know, and, and it's becoming a problem. Do you think some of these internet beefs, people are flying too close to the sun now? Internet beef, yeah, man, I, I, everything is for a click, clout, and content, you know what I mean? And and, and, and and they should think about certain certain shit before they get to getting in front of the camera being disrespectful or typing certain shit because you might run into this person, you know what I mean? It, it ain't worth uh, getting knocked down behind some internet shit, you know what I mean? And, I, and I, a lot of these people on the internet, I don't even think they really feel that way. I think they just doing it f for views and shit, you know what I'm saying? Everybody ain't with that content shit, you know what I mean? So, somebody, somebody, a, a, a parallel park you forever, you know what I'm saying? You can't just think think about yourself because you go, you think you booming on the internet on some viral shit, but then now, your mama gotta bury you, you know what I'm mm. saying? Yeah. Having a reputation is a gift and a curse because they go either try to build you all the way up or knock you down, you know what I'm saying? Right, and Munch, you got a solid name in the streets. You're bubbling online. Now that you're blind, and kind of no recognizable people come up to you you can't even you can't even determine whether they're friend or foe how do you kind of navigate now not being able to see in the streets it's a whole other <laughs> dynamic yeah that's I, I just i just move move around and just like you know what i mean i, I ain't i ain't ptsd up you know what i mean uh i i, I pray about everything worry about nothing i'll be cool and then you know if i'm with a female friend her boots laced up, she know how to identify, you know what I mean? Or I'm, 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 with, I'm, with, I'm with the gang, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I haven't had no issues since I've been, 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 uh, been fucked up though, like since my, my shit been gone. I've been, I been cold and I've been in the places to be. I'm crazy girls, I'm at the studios, you know what I mean? I'm, 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 in, I'm in the hood at the park with the homies. I'm, uh, you know what I mean? Like I said, after, after I uh, experienced what I experienced, my mission was to keep shit as, as normal as I could, you know what I mean? So, yeah, you know, I, I, I just think, think smarter about the places I go. And if, and if it's too much, like, nah, I'm gonna sit this one out, or I, 
I just can't rock with a female that day. You know what I'm saying? And I got to go 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 with some heads or some troopers. You know what I'm saying? And you know, shit like that. But I've I been I've been cool. I've been green. Right. I remember you telling me about that when you were like 30 deep in the Fox Hills Mall, and you guys were beefing at with Queen Street at the time. Was that correct? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And who'd you bump into? We at the Fox Hills Mall. You know, we chilling. It's, it's probably about like 25 of us. And, uh, you know, by the chic entrance, you know, Bosco, Bosco pushed in. You know, Bosco from Queen Street. So uh, he pushed in and he had somebody with him. And when I seen him, he's walking towards our direction. I pushed like midway. I like, was up, nigga. Like, boom. Like, threw my hand out there. Like, what's up, nigga? Whoa. And I asked the old where he was from. He was with. I think he, be, he said some, uh, some West LA gangster shit or something. You know what I mean? I'm like, all right. All right. So Bosco kept pushing on. Bella through the mall. So uh, I had a homie or two say, what, 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 what we should, oh, we should have did, like, oh, man, uh, we should have maxed them out. We should have did this and all this little shit. But I'm like, oh, you know, so I didn't pay no attention like that. But, you know what I mean? I ain't never had a, even though we had a, a, a back and forth, we had a little scrimmage with the Queen Streets, I never had no real issue with, with Bosco, you know what I mean? Even to this day, me and Bosco are cool. So Based on I'm with about a, a lot of homies, I'm not about to switch up because I'm with a gang of homies. You know what I mean? Then you know, like later that, that night, B Bosco threw a tweet like, "Hey, good looking, you a real nigga?" Well, my like, shit, it's, it's, it's Gucci. You know what I mean? I ain't with the fake shit. Right. And I don't even, I don't think Bosco know. But when I was in prison, my my oldest daughter was a flower girl in my cousin wedding, and her husband had him in the wedding. You know what I mean? So I don't think he know that. My daughter and, and him was in the same wedding. You know what I mean? Right, but that goes back to what we were talking about earlier is Ingle was a small city. It's a big city, but it's everyone knows each other, right? Right. You know, so it and everyone has a cousin over here and a uh, uncle over there and Hey, mama over there. Right. So yeah. so it's almost as if you have to move accordingly, right? Yeah, but you know, like Inglewood is like a uh a pre predominantly all blood city, you know what I mean? So we all went to school with each other, we all know each other. And even though even though us and the Queen Streets had our 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 beef, like it was that it was it was still love there because we was we was homies before that, you know what I'm saying? And that's why I was able to get back cool today. Like the Queen Streets the, 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 they the homies like and then when when that started I didn't I didn't really wanna have to participate in that but like you know what I mean but I kinda like fake had to, cause I I didn't I don't know where they had at, you know what I mean? And what they see me and try to get up on me, so I was I'll be like on a on a defense and just you know what I mean? Like I just gotta roll with the punches at this point till it get greater later, you know what I'm saying? But I I, I didn't want to really have to participate and go to jail and fight them dudes, and you know what I mean? So much we you know outside looking in, we've always known the Bloods have always been greatly outnumbered by the Crips in the city of L.A., the county of L.A. And we asked P. Thrizzle a about blood on blood violence, and this is what he had to say. And what do you think um, about lately the blood on blood violence that's occurred? Is that something that is really denounced in the in this in the blood organization? Yeah, hell yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because that's not how we came up. That's not that's not what it was about, bro. You know what I'm saying? That's how originally. That's how a lot of the the, the Crips was. You know what I'm saying? The Bloods wasn't like that because we were outnumbered, so we like that we was sticking together. So when I see that shit now, I just be like, man, that shit bullshit, homie. Like, you know what I'm saying? Everybody want to be the hardest. Everybody walking around with a fucking ego, bro. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? That's how it is. Everybody has a chip on their shoulder. It's like when, you know what I'm saying? Like when you go into other neighborhoods and shit, like back in the days, it was like, you know what I'm saying? When you go into, there's a way that you present yourself when you're in another neighborhood. Like when you go into another neighborhood, you greet everybody accordingly. Like, hey, I'm, I'm half pint from neighborhood power. I'm half pint from there. I don't even fuck if the last person heard you. You greet everybody, let it, you know what I'm saying? That's to show respect. Nowadays, you, you get motherfuckers that come over here and they like, you like, oh, I'm wooty woo. And they be like, okay, I'm, a, I'm wooty woo. And then they, they, they got attitudes and like, like, who the fuck are you? Like, you come over here, you better bring your ass some respect on this side, bro. You feel me? What do you think about what P. Thrizzle said? Yeah, uh, back, back when he was coming up, because I, I, I think I heard him say in, in your interview that he, he uh, got put on in 94, you know what I mean? And back then it was it was a way it was way harder to be be a Damu, you know what I'm saying, be a blood power. Rule. Same thing, but it was harder, you know what I mean? Cause the ratio what like two to two to fifteen if you go to jail. So we gotta like more so stick together. 
You know what I mean? So when he say like they didn't come up that way, you know what I mean? But now it's more bloods, we deeper and you know, some bloods got relationships with crib hoods. It's kind of easier, you know what I mean? So, and then everybody think they bigger than the next, harder than the next, my hood harder than yours. And so then we, we now we moving like the cribs did, you know what I'm saying? They beef with each other. We never got down like that, you know what I mean? And like based on, I'm, I'm deeply rooted, you know what I mean? I, 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 uh, I had a front row seat to this, you know what I mean? My pops, uncles, big bro, relatives. I, I know how I really supposed to be, you know what I mean? And you know, and, and that's why I felt the way I did with, with the Queen Streets. Like, they, we was we was we was fielding, but I, I said I, I participated with a heavy heart, you know what I mean? I didn't really want to have to, you know what I'm saying? Catch catch one of them in jail and get down with them or run across them in the streets and whatever would take place. But you know, but yeah, you know, I, I agree wholeheartedly to what, what he said though, you know what I mean? Yeah, and you know, he goes on to say that when you go to another neighborhood, another Damu or Piru neighborhood, you you should greet yourself respectfully. Do you feel that that respect in general is lacking in in when different neighborhoods get together for functions? Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, it's like when you, uh, you, come, you don't walk in nobody's house and don't speak, you know what I mean? It's like it's like it's etiquette or whatever, but I think it's I think it's lacking, you know what I mean? And uh, but but sometimes, man, y'all hood got that got reputation. They not to come over there playing. When y'all when, when y'all come to visit visit the Inglewood families, we got Darby Park. You know what I'm saying? Don't don't come with no chip on your shoulder if you don't mess with somebody over here. See, don't come or or you know what I'm saying? Y'all can get a fade and get it out the way. You know what I'm saying? Because we homies, it shouldn't have to go to like gunfire or nothing like that. You know what I mean? Now that I'm matured, you know what I mean? And, and like a lot of that come from like going in and out of jail and being able to politic, you gotta deal with the Crips, the Mexicans, the Woods, the, you know what I mean? So I know how to communicate to where it don't have to go there and we could, we could, we could settle it to where nobody gotta get knocked down or dropped, you know what I'm saying? They could squabble or my homie was wrong, don't worry about it, I'll take care of them. You know, we got this, you know what I mean? Or I had to like pick that, pick that up as I, as I got older, like, you know what I mean? Probably, cause I'm already a leader, so I have to just get the little, the politic in it in place, you know what I mean? So if if, if, if you if you come and visiting somebody hood, man, you don't come over here with you no know, chip on your shoulder or disrespecting their section or nothing like that. You gotta, you know what I'm saying? Keep it respectful. Where else are you going in the city, man? Where, what's your bubble? Just pretty much Inglewood and Compton? Just Nah, man, I'm, I'll, be moving, I'll, be moving, I'll be moving around, man. I'll be hitting all these different studios, you know what I'm saying? Where, where they in the valley. And, Come out to the valley, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll be, uh, I went to a studio out here. That's why I recorded the song with Joe Moses. Oh, okay. I think, I think it's a, a, a Atlantic Studios. Yeah, they, yeah that's right Atlantic down the artists, corner. They be uh, recording that. Yeah, man. Shout out to Joe Moses. How's he doing? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He cool, he cool, he cool. He got a store out there in Bellflower. Shout out, shout out Joe Moses. He threw me on the song, uh, Where yeah. You From? You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, I got the last verse. Everybody go mess with that. But shout out, shout out JM. Do you have a short list of guys you want to collab with? I ain't really tripping on. I got a gang of music I ain't released, man. I'm about to just get some cover art, start uploading the music and letting it go. I, I more so rather like start interviewing some people since I'm trying to get into the podcast thing. It's, it's, it's people I wouldn't mind interviewing and stuff, but. Yeah, let's know. speak on Rich, Rich, Rich at Heart podcast. That's a new podcast venture you launched. That's on iTunes, Spotify. Uh, me me and uh, my co-host, uh, Mariah Hayes, we, 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 we cover everything, the current events, you know what I mean? Uh, social stuff, whether it be like, you know, the, the little stupid shit old girl did in, in, in uh, Alabama, lied about her her kidnapping and stuff. We touch on that, okay. you know what I'm saying? We, yeah. we, we cover a lot of ground and then, you know, we're gonna be kicking off some interviews. Like the next couple things we drop is gonna be interviews, you know what I mean? And how do you like podcasting? Do you like it because it's more of an audio experience? Is that something you appreciate? Oh yeah, no, 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 no. Yeah. I, I like it. I like it. I want to dig deep into it and, and really like, you know what I'm saying? And get get it going. Like the first little 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 clip we dropped on uh on YouTube, it like it, they they did it up. Like, you know what I'm saying? They ate it up or whatever. But yeah, no, I, I like I like it so far. Let's talk about the music, man. Uh, hey look, this that beauty in the beast mode. I'm in the bay going down right the D-low. Why these ops taking shots like a free though? I'm in the back counting rats with a free coat. Check this out, my flag red, but my money blue. Play with that, it's paws on me like blue clothes. Beef with who? On the game, that's a lose lose. Don't fucking with the beauty of the beast, make breaking news. You've got several projects in play right now. 
to date, what has been your most successful song online? Everybody mess with the the, 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 the video I got, you know what I'm saying, talking about the home girls. Where the home girls at? They yeah. got a good amount of numbers on on YouTube. And then, you know, I got the song with Slim 400. SD, Kita Roo, Ice, Ice Rider Rock, you know what I mean? When I was messing, mess, when my boy Slim was alive, we shot that video. It's called Nothing But Bloods. That's, 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 that's doing cool. Rest in peace to Slim, man. Yeah, long live my bro. Yeah, he was, he was, a nut, you know, and that's what kills us all when we see these careers cut short like that, man. Are you going to pen a book? Do you think that a book kind of about your life is in, is in order? I, 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 I talk with somebody about that, but I, I don't really know how to tell my story without, uh, like, dry snitching or, you know what I'm saying? Like, I had a lot of eventful stuff occur, but how, how could I tell my story and, like, still have realism without, you know what I mean, putting somebody freedom in jeopardy, you know what I'm saying? Or Right, that's the problem, is, like, all the war stories you've been involved in. I mean, if I, like, then I'll water it down if I try to, like, throw some stuff off or, you know what I mean? Or then you'll have somebody speaking out, that ain't true. Of course it ain't true to the T because I, I ain't trying to get, I ain't trying to incriminate nobody or myself even, you know what I mean? Because, you know, a lot of people was mad at Monster Cody after his book dropped, you know what I mean? What are your thoughts as a rapper with a lot of the lyrics now indicting rappers? Well, in California, they got the law that can't use your, your, your music against you now in California. I mean, people, they, people, they, they taking themselves down, like throwing certain stuff in their lyrics though, you know what I mean? And they dissecting it, and then, you know, they using it against you, depending on what jurisdiction, what state you in. And then I, I don't think they should be able to do that, but you know, of course I feel that way because I ain't on their side of the law, you know what I mean? So let's face it, law enforcement is scanning these, these shows, they're looking at stuff, they're connecting things, and you have to have some kind of sensitivity to that. And I'm noticing a lot now, man, guys are getting online and they're chirping too much. You know, what are your thoughts there? Clout, man. I, I, clout is a hell of a drug. And clout kills too, though. Like, you know what I mean? I, 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 ain't, I ain't with that. But if they feel it's that important to, to, to do some dumb shit or say something stupid on camera and monetize, you probably ain't got no following like that anyway. So you go get some crumbs. I mean, whatever. But... I, I don't, I, I, ain't, I, ain't, I ain't with the clout, clout thing. That's, that's weird, though. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, it is weird. And you can only live on that shit so long before it becomes, if you're living on that substance, it gets old. You know what I mean? And it gets corny. Man, I got my clout from chasing Crips. I don't chase clout. And, and, I, and I was doing that unknowingly. You know what I mean? I didn't, I, I didn't like, like you, you, you get a reputation by accident. Like, I was just doing, I was doing what, what, uh, what, what, you, what, what a game banger is supposed to do, and then I, I developed a reputation. I, I didn't, I didn't just. I'm about to do this so everybody go hear about it, or you know what I'm saying? Right. I never in my life. I, I never even got on an interview and dissed nobody hood before ever. You know what I mean? I think Gangland years ago. I said, you know, f somebody hood, and I, I was on the screen for about seven seconds. You know what I mean? And I was a kid. Right. So, so like, I, I don't do the clouds. I, ain't, I ain't got a blood every word because everybody know where I'm from. Right. I ain't got to dish nobody hood because they already know what time it is with me. You know what I mean? Like, you ain't got to do that. You know what I'm saying? Shoot out some of your, your people that, that have been part of your struggle and now will be part of your success, man. Oh, uh, man, shout out to everybody that collab with me, man. Long live my boy, uh, Slim 400. You know what I mean? When I, I got, I got kind of serious with music late in the game. And then I, I, I slowed down, like, but then he like, picked me back up, like, come on. You know what I'm saying? We start doing music and traveling or whatever. So long live my bro, my boy KD, he got power flow music. You know what I mean? He helped me out a lot. He got his fingerprints over a lot of stuff I did. My boy Jay Burst, free him, you know what I'm saying? He supported me a whole lot, you know what I mean? And shit, everybody I didn't collab with in the past, you know what I mean? Munch, thanks so much for coming through. We appreciate your time and blessing us with your story, bro. Oh uh, yeah, likewise, I appreciate you for having me, bro. That's right, Munchy B, guys.